So today we're going to be doing a boss battle on a mod of map Balloon of Clubs, and the main feature is going to be with a mod of tower that I, recover I covered a while back. It's called the Robot Monkey. Check that video out if you missed it. But basically to summarize, this is a tower that uses lives to generate power. So that so basically it won't attack unless you give uh, lives to it. So I've already have this uh, round three set up here. And over here on the bottom, you can see the Robot Monkey and all its upgrades. Now, also in that video, I did not cover the Paragon because I said I would <laughs> showcase it at a later date. And I guess that later date is now almost a year later. So yeah, once again, thanks Zookoix for making this one. On top of that, there's also another tower to help out the uh, Robot Monkey. That's the Life Farm. It basically just gives lives. That's it. It's not very useful in the early game though because I think it's only one life every round. So I think we're better off doing the following. Selling you for an 014 balloon trap for uh, extra monies. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and discount village by a bunch of marketplaces. Because these already give us money and a free life per pound. So uh, that's basically just life farm, but better. Anyways, I think it's time to start setting up that Robo Monkey. Uh, it's nice on uh, this map. There's a nice curve that I can basically uh, attack for the entire uh, start of the track. Now, what cross path do I want or path I want? Um, I think the bottom path gives extra mob damage. Because let me... uh buy these two things here. These two aren't very useful, just a range and camo. But you see this one uh, has more upkeep, but has uh, more more bomb power. I think the middle path is just uh, less upkeep, which isn't that much damage. Top path is damage, but I think I prefer, uh, you know, stable mob damage, right? Also very expensive. $11,000. I think I'll buy myself an AI here. And yeah, let's take a look at tier 4. So uh, this one just attacks faster and deals even more mob damage. I think since, you know, Normally for bosses, you sell your defense to get like a 20k tower. So that's pretty perfect, right? We'll just sell three marketplaces. Actually, two and a village to buy this. And I'm not sure if that's enough. So I'll just uh, get an alpha buff soon and I will uh, use the ability. So 13 lives for Okay, that's actually quite a lot. Let's take a look at the damage though. Pretty solid, am I right? 100 every volley. Go ahead and give him more attack speed. Now, the uptime of the ability of the tower when you sacrifice is like, I would guess, 30 seconds. So, I mean, I have like many minutes worth of life to spare here. So, we should have no problem here continuing to use that ability. Now, I didn't take into account a SRAM damage, did I? No, I did not, sir. I think I'll have to restart this. Okay, so this time we have a, a bomb on the backside to help clean things up. And hopefully... If we have this one strong, that means uh, more focus bolt damage. Should help for an easier time here. And also, I guess, forgot about Geraldo's totems. Uh, that could be very useful too. Or rather, uh, the Maelstrom. Let's see if the, I need it. I think I need it, yeah. I don't think one recursive was reliable enough there, was it? Yeah, not really. I think until we get more than just one recursive plus drop, we're going to need to keep Maelstroming every single wave. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't restock fast enough, so uh, let's see what I should get. I mean, I guess a Morglaves is never a bad choice, so how about a 402 right here? And, uh, we'll out buff things too. Hopefully it should be enough. Come on. Yep, okay, I think there we go. We got it this time. And yeah, that, that mold damage isn't bad, but I guess, uh, for 20k, you kind of expect the tower to, you know, be able to do a big chunk to the ceramics too, because, yeah. In that case, I would have just gone tax zone, you know, but I guess it's maybe too much to ask for it to be the best, um, mold damager and... Uh, Okay, that doesn't work, apparently. Okay, I've got a very foolproof plan now. Ring of Fire plus Arc to win. Surely, this should be enough blue damage, right? That we don't die. Yeah, who would've thunk? Fire and Ice turns out to be a pretty good combo now. Hopefully, uh, the Blue Nerys dies before it gets out of range of the Robo Monkey, because it's getting pretty darn far. Although, I guess the range is really big, especially when you add uh, Jungle Drums and Alpha Buff. It reaches uh, all the way to the right side, so I guess it's not a big deal there. Let's just go back to farm real quick. And I think we had long last. We are finally going to take down Balloon Aries. Took long enough. Nine rounds and uh, I lost 100 lives, I think. Started off Balloon Aries with like 180. So uh, I'm going to keep the these guys around because they make money and lives. But now I'll sell you the BRF. And uh, yeah, go on from there. Now while the tier 4 robot monkey was good for tier 1 Balloon Aries, I'm not sure if the tier 5 would be any good for uh, tier 2. Because let's take a look here. Hive Mind 
This thing uh, is 50k and doesn't really do much other increased attack speed to other monkeys. So I think in that case, we might be better off maybe trying Top Path, which also takes away a lot of uh, upkeep. I believe it's, uh, yeah, plus 40. In no way do I have enough lives right now. 153 to be able to uh, keep that up. But I guess we need to see the damage first. I doubt I'll end up keeping this run, but let me just see how much uh, 420 with Overdrive and, or sorry, Overclock and Alpha and Village does. So let's go. Oh, that damage is way better than actually a 204. Okay. Is that enough to be able to take down 300k HP though? Well, definitely not given that I don't have enough lives to do the uptime. Because, yeah, two or three more cycles and I'm gone. So it's like a minute or so. This is definitely an L. An L plus ratio, as some might even say. So one more ability and okay, I have one more after this. But yeah, I'm still dead to the balloon. Just way too many of them. So I think for tier two, we'll just play normally like a mad or something like that. The very boring way. Actually, not a mad, but rather an Avatar Wrath. And in fact, I might actually be able to use Roll Monkey plus Avatar Wrath to advantage. Because remember... This thing loses lives when you use the ability, and uh, you know what's good for losing lives? The Avatar Wrath, because it gets more power. So that's pretty big brain. I guess I'll just get back the lives later anyways, just by dropping a hella bunch of life arms. So let's see. Right, this one requires more upkeep, so uh, I don't want to spend too much, though. Okay, I'll do two zero three. This loses me eight lives, so 8% more attack speed, just like that. And again, the great thing with Avatar Wrath is just so much damage, it also cleans up all the BFB, so... Uh, this, I would say, is a pretty cost-efficient option for Tier 2, and involving the Modern Monkey, too. Very nice. Who needs Azealia when we have Azealia at home? And in fact, this one's better, because the uh, Azealia cooldown's so long, this one's like every 30 seconds. So we're losing a lot of lives here. Actually, mm, I might be gaining back lives with Marketplace, but I think I'm still uh, going down as a whole. That's still fine. And 10,000 years later, we're finally taking down Blue Uh um, This is actually a pretty rough map for Avatar Wrath, because it, it wasn't attacking for the entire time I was on the top side in the middle of the middle lap, so it took a, quite a while for us to uh, take down that. And now we can finally get B-Central. Bit late on the farming, but it's okay. It is what it is. So I believe the Royal Paragon is 700k, so that's pretty much out of the equation for Tier 3. Definitely for Tier 4, though. For now, on long side again, uh, money farming. I gotta get some lives, so... Uh, Light Factory. I could have probably used the money for a nice BRF, but I guess I needed the lives round. Because I think I can still use the Tier 5s. Or, uh, well, Tier 3. So I'm going to need a lot of them. Gotta say, our uh, Life Farm is looking pretty nice. And all I needed was a Tier 3 uh, Life Factory. Guess I'll go ahead and buy this one. Now, 200 lives are around, so we shouldn't have to worry about uh, upkeep ever again. So uh, again, definitely a top path Tier 5. Robot Rampage, I believe it's what's called. Oh, that's Tier 4. But yeah, tier 5 here is pretty cracked. 55 upkeep, but yeah, a lot of damage. So I'll go ahead and buy a range first off, and uh, it looks like I need to sell quite a bit for it. How about we start the round, make a little bit of money. I guess I'll sell the Wall Street for it, and let's go. Let's see how much damage it does, guys. And well, so far that's pretty good. Like, 5k DPS, I'm thinking. Of course, we'll go ahead and alpha buff it, and right. I should go ahead and go for it. Uh, the Hive Mind ability. So, if you read it carefully, Towers and Range gain increased attack speed greatly. So, I, I'm not sure if you have to keep or have the upkeep be there for it to do damage, but I guess we'll find out. Again, not that lives really matter, so it's not too bad of a deal if I do have to do that now. Again, I gotta keep. Maybe I should just tech bot it. Yeah. Where is the tech bot when you need it? That way, you don't have to worry about clicking it. We can just, uh, Get it to keep doing damage, and so far the damage is, yeah, it's really good. We've already gotten one skull down, also. Crap, uh, I gotta put on first for DDTs. Uh, don't die. Thank you, Mib. Yeah, holy crap, this thing is absolutely shredding. I'll leave the high mine first, actually, just to clean up the ceramics here. For an 80k tower, it's definitely worth more than its price, but I guess you gotta keep in mind, too, that, well, the massive life upkeep makes it, uh, well, it has to be stronger in that case, right? I guess, again, since lives don't matter, we're just getting free power for pretty much zero cost, which is very cool. Already well over halfway before Lunaris got, like, a third of the track in. If just a couple buffs on a Tier 5 does this much, then yeah, I'm pretty sure the Paragon will shred Tier 4 and 5. But I guess we'll see exactly when the time comes. Make sure to overclock it again. And yeah, GG easy for Tier 3 Blue Arius. I'm kind of lazy to sell this guy or untech bot it, so maybe what I'll do is... How much is the Platinum Lives? 900 per round. 
for 80k. I guess since I have pretty much infinite money at this point, might as well go for that. So that I don't have to worry about it. So keep in mind this will probably be a makeshift Paragon for Tier 4, meaning I wanna, or I'll probably get a higher degree for a Tier 5. Unfortunately, either my farming is messed up or I did something wrong because I feel like I should have more money than 474k coming into Ryan 100, but I guess I'll sell a couple farms for it. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay, let's see. I'm 150k short. I guess I could sell the Wall Street and the Central. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Do I want to get any other Pro Monkey upgrades just to maybe up the degree a little bit? You know what? We'll do like a couple 022s. I think these are the cheapest. These are the cheapest things you can do to up your degree, just the tiniest bits. So, always worth doing if you do have extra time. I'm running out of time, though, so let me just go for it. With 3 million pops and a bit of that, how much degree is it? 36, very solid. Okay. So, I'm also kind of curious. Is there any uptime on this guy? Because it seems like there's no ability, so... I think it's just up all the time. I also didn't read the description, so let's see. The most powerful machine ever created no longer resembles the monkeys it has once tried to make. Okay, that makes more sense. It's just completely different than uh, its sub subordinates. So let me go ahead and clear the screen a little bit so you can see the real monkey in action. Well, uh, wait a minute. I think uh, guys might have a little bit of a bug because that looks like an 8-bit Dark Monkey sprite. Yeah, this is part of a mod pack that includes a lot of other monkeys you might have noticed already. So that's probably just a mistake on their part. Either way, it still has the uh, nice purple projectile that I assume belongs to the uh, Royal Monkey. So we're all good. In terms of damage, it's actually not doing a whole lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's going to be enough to beat uh, Lunaires here, but... Yeah, that's not gonna look good for a tier 5. Guess I just might as well get more pops while I can right now. So let me go ahead and buy back a tier 5 here so that I can just do as much damage as possible. Make sure to tech bot it as well. Also, don't counter the damage of the Deca Shot too. Uh, I never showcase this one, at least right here. But yeah, this shoots a lot of rings, and uh, that damage is pretty solid, 138k. 1 million pops already on the tier 5. And we're just about to kill uh, the end of tier 4 here, I think. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and sell you. And do you think it's worth going for Paragon Totems too? Even though the money is a bit tight? Yeah, probably. I guess I'll sell every farm at the end anyway, so... I'll have a lot of excess cash to work with. Alright, so now for a tier 5 setup. We got, like, a couple Paragon Totems, a bunch of upgrades on the uh, mini Robo Monkeys, and, yeah, same amount of pop, so let's see now. At least degree 50 to 60 would be nice. Let her rip. 58, alright, very solid. I guess I would have liked for it to be two more degrees, but, yeah, I didn't get enough pops. That's okay. I think for now we'll just play, and if the Royal Paragon struggles, which it probably will, since, well... You know, degree 36 didn't do anything to tier 4. Uh, we'll probably drop a second Paragon along the way. If there's time, and hopefully there's time. Otherwise, we're in a bit of pickle here. So yeah, first things first, gotta take care of all these uh, random mobs that spawn. And actually, our damage is actually pretty good if we leave it on strong the entire time. Last time I was leaving on first because like there's so many random balloons that I need help dealing with. But I guess if we have damage, some sort of damage on the right side, we can probably take care of it. I don't know. Just getting gonna. Like a Sun Avatar or something like that. Just have it for DTs here. Or I guess what I could do is have it on first for like one second. And then switch it back to strong. And that basically just wipes out all the balloons. But uh, okay. Good to know that we don't need any more to solo. Because I would have been very disappointed if uh, well, I needed a lot more help. Actually, uh, hold that thought. We might actually need help because we, it's getting halfway. Remember the club map? It's symmetrical, so. The halfway mark is right at that peak and we're not quite halfway, so. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to go for Paragon, I think. Another one. Hopefully I don't die to these bats here, too. Okay, we're good, we're good. I guess we'll... It got nerfed, but I guess I can go for the, uh... What do you call it? The Apex Plasma Master. Since this is Jeep's one, go ahead and sell everything. Alright, and I think we're ready to rip. Apex Plasma. This will be degree 30. Hopefully, in combination, in tandem, should be enough. Yeah, this might be a closer one than I would certainly like. Let's go ahead and do what else is good. Uh, how about a mad real quick? As if that'll do much to 40 million, but... Probably the best option at this point, given I am pretty poor. Okay, it looked good initially, but I think I'm gonna have to restart it. The range is actually really tiny, so we did, like, zero damage to the outskirts here. So, yeah. Reset. Okay, so this time I've heli shoved it to a bit higher of a spot, so... There's less downtime over there. And, uh, yeah. 
Hoping that's enough. I think I'm gonna also go ahead and sell these farms a little bit early, just so I can get that Apex Plasma Master doing damage as soon as possible. So where is it? Yeah, this is a good spot. Go ahead. Okay, bad news this time. Our damage still doesn't seem like it's very good, but good news it's it might just barely be enough. Finally passed halfway mark before it hit halfway, so I guess that's a good indication of something at least. Go ahead and move the super brittle over the right side. Just for the extra damage. And yeah, I don't know. Just trying to use every little penny I got at the moment. Including not even selling the B-Central just to make more money mid-round. But I think at this point, yeah, it's probably worth it to sell. Just for an extra burst of damage. How about... Yeah, Sun After a Spam is pretty solid. I'll go ahead and get a bunch of these. Uh, Ultra Boost the Mad. Geraldo, I believe we have a Rejuve Potion. To reset abilities. And yeah, I think this time we're looking a lot better. Two more skulls to go. Still a giant loop left for uh, Lunaris to uh, cover. Go ahead and use another Regia Potion now that Homeland's off. Uh, that last skull might be a little bit scary since it spawns balloons a little bit forward. So we have to leave enough room, you know. Otherwise, we're not going to have any time to kill the uh, bads that come out from Lunaris. But I guess I can quickly switch things to first if I need to. Alright, here we go. Last part. I'm going to switch this down to first. Just to snipe those f bads. Come on, nice. And yeah, that was really annoying, but at least we did it. 42 million pops on the uh, World Paragon, by the way. 5 million for Dark Monkey. Yeah, the nerf Dark Monkey really isn't that great anymore, but I guess this map doesn't have very good bounty curves, but either way, we did it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this return to uh, the World Paragon mod, because I really enjoyed the first time, so I am glad I did an encore. If there's any other mod towers you'd like me to want to see me cover, or anything in general, let me know. But otherwise, that's it for today. See ya.